My name is Hao Wu. I'm from Intel Virtualization Enabling Team. Exploring IO support for virtualization based uh, trusted uh, execution environment is my topic today. Here is today's agenda. First of all, a short introduction for the background and then move to the first part of this presentation which describes current uh, direct I.O. support for TE virtual machine, including working model and uh, challenges. After that, we will talk about uh, the TDI support, which is a new option for trusted I.O. inside TVM. In this part, We'll give some overview for PCIe TE device interface security protocol, TDSP spec. Then introduce TEIO support for Intel Trust Domain Extensions, TDX. And uh, summarize the last part. Background. Virtualization techniques are used uh, to provide an uh, uh, increased uh, security guarantee for trusted uh, execution environment, TE, such as uh, TE virtual machine. And uh, from TE virtual machine point of view, the VM is not uh, trusted. Confidential computing inside the TVM requires I.O. support, for example, assistance or accelerations provided by external devices. Today's presentation will only focus on direct I.O. support discussion. From this page, we will start to talk about the current direct I.O. solution for TVMs. Current limitation is that uh, devices are not in the trust uh, compute uh, boundary TCB of the TVM, so devices are not allowed to read and write the TVM's confidential memory. So it requires to move TVM, TVM data from private memory to shared memory, first of all. As TVM data in private memory is protected by encryption, so decrypt copy in and encrypt copy out are required to move TVM data to or from shared memory. But there is no protection for data inside shared memory as it can be accessed by VM. We cannot put plain text data into shared memory. Another point is the data path between host and the device is not uh, trusted. IMU is not in the TCB and the physical link is not uh, protected. So from this figure, additional protection must be applied to the read path. The right side figure shows the working model for current direct I.O. solution. Actually, the TVM data can be consumed by either device or remote peer, so there are two cases. Case 1 in red and case 2 in blue. But uh, anyway, secured data channel must be established uh, to improve data confidentiality and uh, integrity. As you can see, separate text data is transferred to shared memory and uh, data pass to device. Challenges. As current architecture and the working model requires additional cryptographic protections, this brings additional complexity. And uh, we will have a significant performance overhead as extra steps needed for encrypt copy out and decrypt copy in to from shared memory. Is it possible to have some security mechanism to allow TVM to include the target device into its TCP? So that the target device can access the private memory directly to avoid 
the performance overhead by extra copies to for our shared memory? The answer is yes. There is a new option we will discuss in the next part of this presentation. TTISP is a new option we would like to discuss. First of all, I would like to introduce what is the TTISP. TTISP is PCIe T device interface security protocol. It defines an architecture of trusted uh, virtualization. We also can use this term TIO per TDSP spec. It provides below key functions. Establishment uh, trust uh, relationship between a TVM and a TDISP compliant device. We will show what is a TDISP compliant device in later page. Help secure the data path interconnect between the host and device as attack may come from the physical link. Support the TDSP compliant device alignment and removal lifecycle in a trusted manner. With TDSP support, uh, TDISP compliant device can be trusted and uh, accepted uh, into the TBM's TCB. TDSP builds upon the foundation provided by below technologies. I would like to give a short introduction before we move to the architecture page. DMTF security protocol and data model. SPDM. SPDM defines standard messages data objects and uh, sequence for performing message exchanges with device. The message exchanges include authentication of device identities, measurement, and also key session key exchange protocol to enable confidentiality with integrated protected data communication and uh, other related capabilities. PCIe component measurement and authentication CMA defines optional security features based on the adaptation of the data objects and the underlying protocol defined in SPDM spec. Integrity and data encryption IDE provides confidentiality, integrity, and uh, replay protection for translation layer packets, TLPs for PCI device. Data object exchange, DOE, defines one mechanism to perform data object exchange with a target device. DOE provides a transport layer for SPDM message exchange with target device. This is the TDSP host device reference architecture defined in TDSP spec. In this figure, one TIO capable device can host uh, multiple TDIs. TDI is T device interface, the unit of uh, device assignment defined in TDSP spec. TTI can be an entire device, a non ILV device, a PF or a VF. In the left side, we can see VM PF drivers are not trusted, so they are not in any TCB. And uh, one TDI is assigned to legacy VM, and uh, same and same time, two more TDIs are assigned to TVM separately. TDSP not only requires device to host the TDIs, but also requires device to implement the device security manager DSM, which is a logical entity in the device to enforce security isolation. It provides below functions including authentication of device identities and measurement reporting per SPDM. IDE encryption keys configuration. 
As IDE keys, screen keys are used to protect the TLPs for the link, so it requires to send the IDE keys to your device. Before TE security manager TSM can send green key, it requires SBDM session for protection. The IDE key management messages are protected by SBDM session key, the orange key. TDI management, the TDSP has defined the security states for TDI. Unlocked, locked, uh, run, and error. In order to manage uh, TDI states, it requires uh, TSM to send uh, TDSP messages to TSM. And uh, the TDI SP messages are protected by SPDM session key too. By default, TDI is in unlocked state and uh, a VM host driver can configure it and use it or even assign it to legacy VM. Once we decide to attach a TDI to a TVM, then we need to lock the, device, lock the TDI configuration and allow TDI to report configuration and other device identities to TVM for attestation. Once TVM decides to accept the device, TVM also needs to move TDI from, uh, from locked state to run state, which is the only operational state for trust uh, MMO and DMA. Access control from MMO and DMA security mechanism to isolate TVM data are required too. This page we will talk about uh, TSL, which is uh, TE Security Manager. TSM needs to enforce security isolation for TVMs and uh, manage security states for TDIs. TSM has security mechanisms and uh, enforce access control for both direction trusted uh, TMA from TDI to TVM and also trusted uh, MMO from TVM to TDI in the host side. As you can see in this figure, the translation agent the TA, which helps with uh, access control, is in the TCB of all TVMs as it is enforced by TSL. Similar as TA, IDE host side is enforced by TSM2, so IDE is in the TCP2. Another key concept introduced by TDSP is trusted MMO and DMA. In case IDE is used, there is a TBIT in TLP IDE prefix. It is used by originator to indicate this TLP is uh, associated with uh, TVM. Both device and host uh, translation agent uh, can use this TBIT to perform access control. After the quick overview of the TDSP from this page, we will talk about the TDSP TEIO support of uh, Intel TDX. This architecture for Intel TDX with TEIO support is uh, consistent with TDISP reference architecture we discussed in previous slides. Same as existing TDX architecture, VM is still the resources manager and the Intel TDX module function as TSM provides new TDX APIs to safely attach, detach TDIs to TVM. The new elements added on top of TDX architecture are in the support numbers. First one, TDSP compliant device. It requires device to implement one or more 
TDRs and also the DSM, which we already discussed uh, in previous slide. Second one, IDE protection for the physical link. Not only device requires the IDE support, but also root port from SOC side uh, need uh, IDE too. Actually, host driver and VM have no direct access to RDE hardware in host SOC side, so only can request a TDX module via new TDX uh, APIs for RDE. Third one, trusted uh, MMO and uh, DMA support, as we discussed in previous slides, trusted MMO and DMA are tagged with TBIT. Access control is performed uh, based on that uh, TBIT. From whole side, uh, trusted uh, P tables for trusted uh, MMO and DMA are managed by TDS module too, so more TDX APIs are exposed uh, for this purpose. Last one, to support TIO, TDS module needs to manage a uh, lot of the new things, including SPDM, IDE, TDI, trusted uh, printables, and uh, etc. So more TDX APIs are exposed uh, to VM and uh, TVM for this purpose. For SVDM implementation in TSM, an architecture TD named as a TPA TDX provision agent is introduced uh, to offload the actual SVDM SPDM work for TDX module. This page we are going to talk about the possible software touch points. We hope the software enabling for TIO on Intel TDX can take advantage of uh, general features like components in orange. Define the common layer and the interfaces in support of uh, TDSP components in yellow, and uh, also handle Intel TDX specific implementation in blue ones. This figure shows the major software touch points with a circle number. Let me explain them one by one. When we expose device interface to Legacy VM, we can use uh, Wi Fi O. For TEL case, we still can reuse the existing WFL framework, but uh, some additional work needed, including identify capability of the device and uh, additional TDSP initialization work. This can be done while common APIs provided by TDSP component, which is the second one I would like to discuss. It can provide the generic services for TDI management and also can help with uh, SPDM ID setup flow defined by TDISP spec. We expected uh, SPDM and uh, IDE can provide some common interfaces as they are generic features not only used uh, in TDISP case, but uh, they do need uh, some extensions to support uh, TDISP model. For example, in TIO case, IDE support in root port is managed by TDS module, not kernel driver. So this is why we have a TDX specific code to interact with TDS module to finish the task. Another thing is TDSP support needs to do is binding the TDI to the target TVM while TDS module. As access control for trusted MMO, DMA, and uh, other security policies can be enforced by TDS module. 
Trusted uh, MMO and DMA support are considered as Intel TDX specific changes on top of uh, existing TDX implementation. For KVM side, trusted uh, MMO will be managed by the security PT. And uh, in RMU side, there is new TDX mode for trusted uh, address translation. Security PT is reused uh, as IO PT goal in current uh, TDS module design. Number four, PCI TDI SP support inside TD. From TD user point of view, the TDI exposed by VM is a PCI device, but uh, TD cannot uh, trust it unconditionally. After TD enumerates this device is a TDI, then TD needs to perform TDI specific device attestation. During attestation, the device identity measurement, TDI state, and configuration need to be verified. If everything is okay, then TD can decide to accept the TDI. It will require TD to notify TDX module to unblock the trusted uh, MMO and uh, DMA from host and uh, also move TDI to operational state, which is a run state, to allow trusted uh, MMO and DMA from device side. Actually, generic flow for TDI enumeration, attestation, and uh, acceptance should be common, but uh, for each step. It depends on TDX APIs provided by TDS module. So we can see both yellow components for generic TDSP and the blue one for TDX specific implementation here. After TD accepts the TDI, then it allows to bind with the PCI device driver. But the device driver may need some extensions to kernel APIs to map trust uh, MMO and uh, allocate uh, private uh, DMA buffers. Okay, that's all for the software touch points to enable uh, Intel TDX with TIO. Summary for today's topic. I.O. support is important for computational computing inside the TVM. Current uh, direct I.O. solution has uh, limitations and uh, performance overhead as the device can't uh, access TVM's private memory. TDISP defines an architecture of a trusted I.O. virtualization. New architecture allows TDI to be accepted into the TVM's TCB. Intel TDX with uh, TEIO is designed to implement uh, the TDSP architecture. Besides platform and uh, Intel TDS module extensions, software changes to Linux and uh, KVM are also required, including common support for TDSP and uh, specific implementation for Intel TDX. That's all for today's presentation. This is only a very high level introduction for TDSP and uh, Intel TDS with TEIO. It uh, doesn't uh, cover details, so if you want to know more, you can learn more details from the reference documentations listed uh, in the next page. If you have uh, questions, you can ask uh, directly after this video or send me emails later. Thanks for watching this.